All right, I'm going to change the oil on my 2012 Yamaha SX190. I've had it for about eight months. This will be the first oil change I'm going to do. The old owner changed it right before he sold it to me. I've only put like 20 hours on it. So I went to the local Yamaha dealer, picked up an oil change kit. It was like 40-something bucks. Seems a little expensive, but uh, it's a once-a-year thing, and some say, you know, the, any other brand, 10W40 is the same. It may be, but I know Yamaha yamalu has been in it, so I'm going to go ahead and stick with it. Um, right here, i got a electric oil pump. Hooks up to 12-volt. I'm going to hook up. This is going to, uh, this tube is going to suck it out of the dipstick and then empty into this bucket here. And I do have it marked with four quarts, so I can tell how much oil I do get out of the boat. Uh, it holds about four quarts, but obviously... I'm not going to be able to get 100% of the oil out. Hopefully I get 85, 90% of the oil out. And it should be right under the fourth quart mark there. So My driveway is on an incline, so I got uh, some boards I was doing some stuff with last week, extra. I stacked four of them each and uh, pretty much got the boat level. And we'll jump inside here in a second. I did put a level on the engine, and it's looking pretty good for uh, as far as the levelness goes. Okay, I do have the water turned on, um, but I do have it clamped so it can't go in yet to the uh, cooling system. So I'm going to crank the engine over once the engine started, release the water, and let it run for a few minutes to get the oil uh, warmed up and make it easier to extract. All right, water should be flowing here. All right, ran the motor for a couple minutes, attached to the hose, got that clamp back off. Uh, got it uh, warm, now I'm gonna get my tube down into the dipstick. I'm gonna slowly get it down there until you feel. Oh. I'm confident that's the bottom. All right, I'm going to touch the bottom and then raise it up just a little bit. Got this hooked up to 12 volts. And we're going to see how well it pulls out. <laughs> Almost to four quarts, so any minute it should start spitting. You can see right now it's getting lighter, less is coming out. Make sure I'm at the bottom there. Obviously, I probably could have got more out. It was just spitting. But I made my four quart mark, and it is right on it. I'm surprised I got that much out of it. So what we'll do is take this uh, tube out. We'll take the filter off, and then go from there. All right, I'm going to take this oil filter out. I put some paper towels down, and also an old Tupperware. Just in case any oil spills out of it, it'll catch as much. I don't want to get any oil down on my bilge, get it mixed to the water, and then pump it back in the leg. That wouldn't be good, so... I'm going to try the best I can to prevent any from spilling. And I'm not going to be able to film this uh, with one hand. Or I'm not going to be able to do it with one hand. So, Alright, I got it out. Um, I couldn't film it and do it one-handed. So There was a lot less oil until I tipped this and it spilled. So Some did drain into the bilge, but I was able to get it with a paper towel, shop rag, clean it completely up.
All right. I know I took just about four quarts of oil out of the boat. So it should be right on four quarts to put back in. However, I'm still going to do three and a half and then check. Because I really don't want to have to take any out if I overfill. So we'll put three and a half in. Check our uh, dipstick. Depending on where it's at, run it for a few seconds. And then we will uh, keep going accordingly. Alright, we got about three and a half quarts in right now. We're going to go ahead and do a quick check. Actually, looking like I am uh, showing in between. Just below the full mark. So I'm going to add just a little bit more. Run it for about 10 seconds and then recheck it. Okay, we, uh, you can see the level there. We're still about a tenth in there. Uh, that's what I added all the way up. Last fourth quarter added all the way up. There's just a little bit left. So I think I'm at full. Uh, I don't know if I ran it long enough for the oil to fully get up in there but I'm right at the full mark here so what I'm going to do is I got it full comfortable enough to run it for a few minutes I'm going to um, run it with the hose for a few minutes and then we'll come back and see if the level dropped at all or stayed the same uh, that 15-20 seconds may have been enough time for the oil to get up in there get into the filter and everything may not have so we'll run it for a few minutes and then recheck it alright we got the level back up to full Ran it for a couple minutes on water and got it to the, the right level we wanted it. I didn't record anything else. I hope everybody found this informative and hopefully it will help you on your next oil change.